The way I feel when I go mountain biking is the closest thing to flying that you'll ever get. You get out there and you just flow. You're jumping stuff, you're riding hard, you're out in nature. It's almost a zen place. It's just great. And then there's times that you're just working. You're going up the hills, you're grinding. You're earning what you get on the other side of the hill. It's a great workout. It kept me alive when I had a heart attack. It's the whole reason I recovered so fast. And it's the perfect job for me managing this park. It's just everything came together for me. My interest in mountain biking started probably in the late 80s. I'm an old BMXer. I raced BMX since I was 15 years old. BMX is a lot of travel from, for someone from Terre Haute, Indiana. There's not a lot of tracks close. We were traveling an hour and a half, two hours to go to every race. Mountain biking just kind of fit the bill for me. I tore up a lot of bikes early on, learning how to not jump over chasms and bend forks and tear stuff up. But it has morphed into more of what I like to ride now and I've changed the way I do things. So I've been riding mountain bikes since the late 80s and now it's my job and I kind of live the dream. Griffin Bike Park is an active sports park, 300 acre park with, we're over 22 miles of mountain bike trails right now. This park is a memorial to Dale Griffin, a fallen soldier that, that we lost in Afghanistan. His family wanted to do a trail to remember him by. They raised all the funds to build this. They got grants, they got donations. The wild part about Griffin Bike Park is it was dreamed up in like 2014 and we, we built 16 miles of trails in two years. Thousands and thousands of hours of volunteer service. The whole park was built by volunteers. That was the wild part. Everybody said you couldn't do it, well you wouldn't get it done. This is where we're at. We started with in 2016 with 16 miles of trails. We've got an X game style area with, with jumps up to six foot tall. We've got pump tracks. We've got a little bit of something for everything. Whenever you're getting airtime, in my opinion, it's the best part of biking. Because you're just soaring through the air at high speeds and what, 10, 12 feet up in the air. And it's just awesome. That's what I bike for. I'll do cross country, but I love jumping the most because airtime is just amazing. But it is scary because like, for example, my first run today, I didn't warm up or anything. I just kind of went out there and sent that big jump and in the air I got crooked and like a lot of times we'll try to like throw style in the air but we have control over it and a lot of times whenever you jump you'll go off the lip wrong and it'll kind of send you a weird way so then you're sitting there the whole time you're in air wondering okay how is this going to turn out when I hit the dirt am I going to land or am I going to eat some dirt today and luckily I was able to save it but it's scary um, especially when you're high up because if you if you eat it, then you're eating it pretty hard, depending on how high up you are. But then whenever you land, it's just exhilarating. Dual slalom is like the race we're having today. It's a two-lane course that are made as equal as possible. And two people go down it side by side at the same time. And whoever makes it to the bottom first wins. You start at the same time, go down the course, which like I said, they're tried to make as equal as possible. And then at some points through turns, there's an inside turn and an outside turn. Someone will get ahead, but then there's usually another turn to equal that out. And it's really fun to race. We have two features in our lake at the park. We've got a floating bridge that's two feet wide and 200 feet long, but also down there we put in our lake jump. It's on an aluminum floating bridge. 
It's a four foot jump like we have in the LZ in the landing zone and it shoots you out into the lake. We have a prescribed place we have everybody start. We have two bikes that we use that we have floats on to where you don't have to destroy your own bike. No chains, because we don't want you going too fast. Everybody has to wear a helmet, a flotation vest, and closed toed shoes. Other than that, we, we send you in the lake. We have safety people there with, with a life buoy and a kayak, and we've got a pole we pull people in with. To where they don't have to swim so far. It's hard to swim in tennis shoes, but it's really fun. You can practice off the lake jump. You can practice back flips. You can practice all the trips that you're too afraid to practice on dirt, or you can dial in those jumps that you're wanting to do on dirt. Griffin Bike Park has a fleet of loaner bikes. We've got mainly for kids, but we're starting to get them in for adults. So if anybody ever needs to come out or wants to come out and try it, wants to borrow a bike, get a hold of me at rich at griffinbikepark.com and we'll arrange to get you on a bike. I just think Mountain biking is a life sport from when you first learn to ride all the way up to, we've got folks out here that are in their 60s, 70s, and 80s riding. You don't have to be the best rider ever to enjoy this sport, and it's a life sport. Just get out and do it. That's the best part.